Hello, I'm Bob Mankoff, cartoon editor of the New Yorker magazine, and welcome to an Is Meta Better episode of the Cartoon Lab. So, you know, meta is self-referential. It refers to itself a movie, talking about a movie, writers writing about writers, novelists, and we have cartoons like that sometimes. We get them submitted all the time. This one is by Tom Taro, and the woman is saying to the guy here who's looking up, it works better for everyone if we pretend like the columns of text aren't there, dear. And the columns of text, that's how it would appear in the magazine, right? It would be, it would refer to the conventions of our own cartoon. We never publish stuff like that because we don't think meta is better. But meta is everywhere now. You can't avoid it. So we now also have the meta of humor about humor, making uh, fun of the conventions of humor, anti-jokes. And what better way to make fun of one of the conventions of humor than to make fun of New Yorker cartoons by claiming that there is a universal caption that fits into all New Yorker cartoons. The most recent one was up on The Atlantic. Hi, I'd like to add you to my professional network on LinkedIn. And we look at a lot of cartoons and it seems to work. And why does it work? Well, let me explain this to you. Let's look at this chart very carefully. As I'm gonna go and show incongruity, comedic event. Bob, my concern with this is that it weakens the exceptionally strong Cartoon Lounge franchise. People love your videos because they know they will laugh and I worry this is just not what they have come to expect. I wanna protect you from people who won't then go on to click next week. Well, as we can see, that wasn't such a good idea. You know, so I talk about self-identification, the idea is that we can now self-identify something as funny. And that's sort of what you have here. But I didn't want to get too defensive, and so I, I actually started to think, when I had the cartoon meeting last week, I said, ah, let's have a little fun with this. So all the cartoons that I took into the meeting had, hi, I'd like to add you to my professional network on LinkedIn. And being aware, as we all are, of the power of social media, we decided actually to put it in the magazine. But you know, I've got to be open to these things like this. There might be an upside, an enormous advantage in all of this. It might just enable us to have just tremendous compression and concision. And instead of the 68,000 cartoons that we have in here, we could just modify it. And it would be very easy. We could even use the same cover. All we got to do is make it the complete cartoon of the New Yorker. Perfect. Today's Ask Bob comes from Seth Whitner from Henderson, Nevada. He asks, has Donald Trump ever entered the caption contest? Would you let us know what his entry was? Thanks. Let's take a look. As a matter of fact, he has. What is it? Quite appropriate. I'd like to add you to my professional network on LinkedIn.